Hello there and welcome back. Let's take a quick look at Lubuntu 17.10 running this inside a virtual machine with Lubuntu Mate as the host. Well, Lubuntu in the past, as in today, it's always been built about pure lightness and speed. Very few systems I have tested run faster than this. So if you have an older machine you're trying to revive, maybe an XP machine, possibly, or even with a newer machine that you wanted to run a lot faster, Perhaps taking a look at, at Lubuntu 1710 might be an option for you. Extremely lightweight because of its light weightness. I suppose I cannot really recommend this for beginners. But it's not the, that difficult to learn. Once you get used to how Linux works, and, you, and if you're looking for something that's absolutely pure speed, I mean, look how fast this is running inside a virtual machine. Only 200, 200 megabytes of RAM, and I've only allotted about 1.6 gigs of RAM inside this virtual machine because really that's all that I need. Uh, if we go to preferences, let's go ahead and go to, oh, customized look and feel. Again, lightweight, so not a lot here. Clear looks, crux, industrial, Lubuntu dark, Lubuntu default, mist, rally, redmond. The nice again not really much of a difference we'll stick with crux to give this this purpose purple purple purplish tint panel at the bottom you can add remove panel items i'm surprised that they never stuck a weather indicator with this after all these years but just to show you that it is somewhat customizable out of the box the usual shortcuts here at the bottom Let's go to sound settings, playback, recording, output devices. Again, pretty basic stuff if you played with Linux before. Bluetooth adapter and four workspaces here. That's my dock at the bottom for Ubuntu. But absolutely, if you're looking for something light speed, <laughs> and I think OS, Linux OS, I think the OS stands for O speed. Take a look at the latest Lubuntu 17.10. Now keep in mind, this is only designed uh, to be supported uh, for nine months. So yeah, I probably will not install this in an everyday machine, but if you happen to have, ha happen to have a spare machine or why not run it in a virtual box like I have? If you're just curious, it runs very well, even without installing any of the updates. But take a look at the latest Lubuntu 17.10. The need for speed. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.